Rhett probably needs no introduction. I'm sure that you have heard of Running for Rhett, and they have this big beer fest that they are doing. They used to do it on Sundays. Now they're doing it on Saturdays because you know what happens. People overindulge and they have to go to work on Monday. This gives you Sunday to recover. You know, as we get older, it gets a little bit harder. Uh, this is Randy. He is a uh, Rhett's dad. If people aren't familiar with the charity, you guys do some amazing things for kids in our area. Where does the money raised uh, from this event on Saturday go to? 100% of the proceeds from uh, the Capital Beer Fest go to fund our after school youth fitness program and we're Northern California's largest after school fi fitness program here in Sacramento and and uh, we're just super excited to have everybody out there on Saturday and and everybody out there having a great time now you have been diligently checking the forecast Cody he's Cody's back today he he will try and make sure that it is the best weather possible but rain or shine and you guys are close to selling out yeah we we, we expect to sell it out last year we sold it out we expect to sell it out again this year uh, the weather does have play some play some role in it, but one thing that we've learned about the craft brew industry is that the people like to come out and have a good time, regardless of what the weather is. Now, how do you get these breweries to donate their time and their beer? Well, they they see not only the marketing opportunity to, to get in front of 7,000 people, but it's it's just part of the community of craft beer, and uh, that's what they like to do. Tell us about Rhett, uh, in case just to remind people of your son. So Rhett was uh, was born in in 1997, and he had cerebral palsy and wasn't able to run or walk. And so when he was seven years old, he passed away. And my wife and I used running to get through the grief of losing Rhett. And so, and then, so then you wanted to to be able to bring that to other kids who may not be getting to experience that. Hence the after school program. Absolutely. Yeah, you, so, guys, you guys do some amazing things in our community. We love supporting them. Oh, you know what? I didn't even show you here. This is the uh, glass that you'll be getting. And uh, how many breweries are going to be out there? There's going to be about 120. And uh, there'll be over 350 varieties of beer. And everybody will get a four ounce uh, glass like this. And they'll be able to get unlimited tastings from the 300 plus varieties of beer. Okay. And one of those breweries that's going to be out there, Device, I know I might be partial, but they're the ones waking up early with us this morning. So, what are you going to be pouring out there? Well, we're going to be pouring Integral IPA. Uh, we will be pouring Pincushion Pilsner, Curious Hayes Northeast Style IPA. And what's this one that you're pouring right now? This is a new one. It's called Pineapple Cannon. Okay. Uh, while there's no fruit in it at all, the uh, the hops we use provide a really punchy pineapple aroma and flavor. Uh, it's definitely been our best seller since it uh, since it came on last week. You guys have done this a few times with uh, Running for Rhett with their uh, their beer fest. Why do you want to be involved in something like this? You're donating, you're giving your beer away for free, and you're going to be out there, you know, volunteering your time. Well, I mean, for us, it's a way to definitely give back. I mean, we, we, we sell most of our beer, and uh, this is an opportunity for us to donate, for us to give back to charity. And, um, and you know, like Randy said, it is a great uh, exposure opportunity for us. But really, we, we love to just be able to participate. Well, we appreciate that. Uh, make sure that you get your tickets. If people still want to be able to get tickets, do they go to runningforret.org? Is that uh, where they go? Capitalbeerfest.com. Capitalbeerfest.com. Yep. Okay. And uh, yeah, they can purchase tickets right, on, right online. Okay, and remember, there are not that many tickets left. They are close to being sold out, so make sure that you get there. He's anticipating that by Thursday they will be sold out. So you want to make sure that you get those tickets quickly because people do not care if it is raining or not. They want some good beer. <laughs> Guys? Right. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Camby. Well, a legendary musician.